His Sarji 7.0.BLD sprinted. His pursuers were close. He could hear the screech of the implosive drilling javelin. It tore through the air, hungry for his destruction. He clutched the transposer, his only hope. The alley narrowed. He was trapped. With a desperate lunge, Hisarji activated the device. Reality twisted around him. The world dissolved into a kaleidoscope of colors and shapes. He tumbled through the vortex, the screech of the javelin fading behind him. Then, silence. He lay gasping on cold metallic ground. He was alive for now. Prey Orcasitra Asian. Even the name sent shivers down Hisarji's spine. It wasn't a place, not in the conventional sense. It existed between dimensions, a surreal tapestry of thought and possibility. The air shimmered with phantom echoes and half-formed realities. He moved cautiously. The ground beneath his feet felt unstable like walking on water. The walls pulsed with a life of their own, their surfaces shifting and reforming in a dizzying dance. He was lost in a labyrinth of fractured realities, a place where the rules of logic no longer applied. Time itself seemed to warp within this dimension. Moments stretched into eternities, eternities contracted into the blink of an eye. The past, present, and future bled together, creating a disorienting tapestry of what was, what is, and what could be. Hisarji felt his sanity fraying at the edges. He had to escape this place before it consumed him entirely. He wasn't alone. A low hum resonated through the chamber, growing louder. Shapes solidified out of the shimmering air, resolving into figures clad in sleek black armor. The Omnicore. Hisarji cursed under his breath. He had evaded one threat, only to fall into the hands of another. The Omnicore were the self-proclaimed guardians of reality. They patrolled the dimensional boundaries, eliminating any threat to the established order. And Hisarji, with his unauthorized use of a transposer, was a threat they could not ignore. Their weapons hummed to life, a menacing symphony of impending capture. He knew resistance was futile. Instead he reached into his mind, focusing his thoughts. He had one card left to play, a dangerous gamble known as Counter Insight. It was a forbidden technique, a way to turn the enemy's perception against them, he only hoped it was enough. The air crackled with energy as Hisarji unleashed the Counter Insight. The Omnicore stumbled, their sleek formations faltering. He was manipulating their senses, feeding them a fabricated reality, one where he was not a threat, but an ally. But the strain was immense. Sweat dripped down his face, his vision blurred. He poured every ounce of willpower into maintaining the illusion, knowing that one misstep would break the spell. The Omnicore hesitated, their weapons lowering slightly. He could see the doubt creeping into their eyes. It was working. He negotiated, his voice raspy with exhaustion. Release in exchange for information. He played on their fear of the unknown, hinting at a greater threat that lurked within the 8.5th dimension. A threat that only he, Hisarji 7.0.BLD, could help them neutralize. A dangerous game of deception, with his life hanging in the balance. Section 5 J. Altrop and the Binding Knots of Deception The Omnicore agreed to his terms, but their trust was a fragile thing, held together by the threads of his carefully crafted lies. They spoke of a powerful artifact hidden within the 8.5th dimension, something called the J. Altrop. It was a device of immense power, capable of altering the very fabric of reality. They believed Hisarji knew its location. He didn't, but he couldn't let them know that. They placed upon him a series of JV sex knots, intricate symbols that shimmered on his skin. They were a form of binding contract, ensuring his cooperation. The knots pulsed with a cold alien energy, a constant reminder of his precarious position. Hisarji was released, thrust back into the chaotic labyrinth of the 8.5th dimension. He had bought his freedom, but at a steep price. He was now bound to the Omnicore, forced to play their game of shadows and deception. He was a pawn in a game far larger than himself, a game he was just beginning to understand. Section 6, The Weight of Whispers. The 8.5th dimension pressed in around him, a swirling vortex of half-formed thoughts and fractured realities. Hisarji could feel the JVCX knots thrumming against his skin, a constant reminder of the Omnicore's watchful gaze. He was a prisoner, even in this supposed freedom. Whispers snaked through the shifting landscape, fragments of conversations, echoes of events yet to transpire. The 8.5th dimension was a conduit, a place where the past, present, and future intertwined. 
He strained to make sense of the whispers, searching for any clue that could lead him to the J. Altrop, or perhaps, a way to break free from the Omnicore's control. Each whisper held a sliver of truth, a fragment of a larger puzzle. He began to piece together the history of the J. Altrop, its creation, its purpose, and the catastrophic consequences should it fall into the wrong hands. The whispers spoke of a power so great, it could unravel the very fabric of existence. The weight of their warning pressed down on him, suffocating. Section 7. The Fabric of Private Falsehoods Hisarji realized the Omnicore wasn't seeking the J. Altrop to protect reality. They wanted to control it. They craved its power, sought to reshape the universe in their own image. He had stumbled upon a conspiracy that stretched far beyond the confines of this dimension. A web of deceit woven from private falsehoods. He thought back to his own life, a carefully constructed narrative designed to keep him hidden, a ghost in the machine. He had always believed he was fighting for something greater, that his actions served a higher purpose. Now he saw the truth. He was a tool, manipulated by forces beyond his comprehension. He had to find a way to expose the Omnicore to reveal their true intentions. But how? They were masters of deception, their influence reaching into every corner of existence. He was alone, lost in a dimension where reality itself was malleable, uncertain. And the JVCX knots were a constant reminder, one wrong move, and the Omnicore would be upon him. Section 8. A Dance with the Architect of Reality Deeper he ventured into the eighth and a half dimension, the whispers growing louder, more insistent. He felt a presence, vast and ancient, watching him. The Architect. The whispers spoke of a being who existed before time, before dimensions, the very consciousness that had birthed reality itself. The architect, they said, held the key to understanding the J. Altrop, but reaching it was a perilous journey, a dance across the razor's edge of sanity. Hisarji pressed on, driven by a desperate hope. He had to reach the architect, to learn the truth about the J. Altrop, to find a way to stop the Omnicore. The eighth and a half dimension shifted around him, responding to his thoughts, his fears, his desires. He was no longer merely navigating this reality, he was shaping it. He was learning to speak the language of the eighth and a half dimension, to bend its rules to his will. It was a dangerous game, but he had no other choice. Section 9. The Echoes of Hidden Truths The closer he drew to the architect, the clearer the whispers became. They spoke of a time before the Omnicore, before the JV sex knots, a time when the J. Altrop was not a weapon, but a tool of creation. Hisarji felt a glimmer of hope. Perhaps there was a way to use the J. Altrop to counter the Omnicore, to restore balance to the universe. But the whispers also spoke of a terrible price. A sacrifice that must be made to wield the J. Altrop's power. What was this sacrifice? He didn't know. But he could feel a growing sense of dread. He was approaching the heart of the mystery, the truth hidden beneath layers of deception. He stood before a massive door, its surface pulsing with energy. This was it, the entrance to the architect's domain. He could feel the eyes of the Omnicore upon him, their patience wearing thin. He had a choice to make. Step through the door and face the unknown, or turn back and accept the fate they had planned for him. Section 10, A Secret Buried Deeper he chose to face the unknown. With a deep breath, Hisarji pushed open the door and stepped inside. The room beyond was vast, stretching into infinity, and in the center, he saw it. The J. Altrop. It wasn't an object, not in the traditional sense, it was more like a nexus, a point where all realities converged. He reached out, drawn to its power, but as he did, the whispers grew frantic, warning him back. He hesitated, fear constricting his throat. He had come so far, but was this the answer? Was there any way to use the J. Altrop without unleashing its destructive potential? The weight of the decision pressed down on him suffocating, he had to know the truth. He had to understand the sacrifice the whispers spoke of. He took another step toward the J. Altrop, his hand trembling, but before he could reach it the world dissolved around him. He was pulled back, ripped from the eighth and a half dimension, the JVCX knots burning into his skin. The Omnicore had caught up with him. Section 11. The Unending Enigma Hisarji found himself back in a cold, sterile chamber, the familiar figures of the Omnicore surrounding him. They had him. He had failed. Or had he? As they moved to restrain him, a slow smile spread across his face. 
He had seen the Jaltrop, felt its power, and in that brief moment, he had understood. The sacrifice wasn't something you did to the Jaltrop, it was something you did with it, a subtle distinction, but an important one. He had glimpsed a truth hidden deeper than the Omnicore could imagine, and in that truth, he saw a way out, a way to defeat them. They dragged him away but their victory felt hollow. He may not have escaped with the Jaltrop, but he now possessed something far more valuable knowledge. The secret remained hidden, but it was no longer out of reach. The game was far from over, it had just begun.